Hello, I'm back again. And this time, I'm not going to talk so much about music, but about formats. In this case, I want to do a series about dead audio formats, or just dead formats in general, that relates to music. And the first dead format I want to talk about is probably one of the oldest, or one of the most least known dead formats out there, called DTS CDs, or DTS Compact Disc. And these were around for a very short time, right after the introduction of DVDs. But these are actually CDs. They look like CDs, and they were marketed as CDs, but they were not CDs. The difference between these, these discs and CDs is that if you drop this disc into a CD player, nothing would happen. You needed a CD player that had an optical or a digital output on the back of it that fed to a DTS decoder, which is usually found in preamps for home theaters or AVRs, in order to play back the, the, the audio on the, on the disc. One of the attractions about these discs was, or was that they just had offered 5.1 audio. So these are these are out for, they had a very short shelf life, but they were out there. And not many were, not very many were out there. And I have four of these. The 5.1 audio mix found on these discs usually came from the original quad four, four channel mix that was found on, on old records and eight tracks and over the reels. And a lot of times these, these mixes were probably were, were lost or not haven't been heard since the original, original release. And they were out there available to be heard now in the 5.1 mix. In fact, a lot of these mixes actually negate the use of a center channel completely. Unfortunately, when you play these back in stereo, you only hear the two channels for the left and right channel, and you won't hear anything else besides beyond that. So all the details in the rear channels and the center channels are gone. Despite the marketing, these were not true compact discs as defined by Sony and Philips. They were compact discs, but the media on them were not playable in all CD players. In order to get the 5.1 audio to fit on a compact disc, it had to be compressed. And so basically what you're hearing are very good sounding MP3s. And that's basically what they were, MP3 discs. 